Today we are going to do a uh, Java program. Uh, see the shipping cost based on the weight. All right, so let's begin by importing a few things. Let's import java.udo.scanner uh, so that way we can have the person actually put in the weight. We're also going to import uh, the decimal so that way um, we can have, you know, if someone wants to input a decimal or to have the decimal working. If you guys are coming from C++ or know about C++ programming, you have to import some libraries based off of manipulation of um, how many decimal places you want to make the outcome or the output instead of like three decimal places you want two so you would have to do io manip and it's kind of like that in java as well all right and um so we're going to do public class main and we're this is all good we're going to take this out because this was automatically here on the compiler do scanner and new scanner system dot in which is pretty much telling the compiler we're about to we're about to allow someone to put put something in there okay new decimal format and to do decimal format you do hashtag point zero zero don't forget that and again, just like the scanner, this is saying we're going to have someone be able to put an um, a decimal place if they want to, or um, output a decimal place, which we're which will happen. Okay, so now we're defining the uh, variables. We're just calling weight. We're calling distance because we're going to ask the person how much distance. And then distance temporarily, and I'll show you later why we need that. Do double cost equals 0, 0.0 because we're initializing it, but the person will actually um, put in put in the weight. And then inside the main function, still we're gonna do a do loop. Okay, so a do loop is a loop that at, that performs at least once, and a while loop is it doesn't perform unless the that or unless it's true. It might perform L statement, but the actual statement it won't perform. So let's do a do loop. And this will test for the requirements of weight. So do system dot out dot print. I'm gonna do enter weight of packages. Weight is in next double. And then, um, so what we're doing here is we said to the, let me push this up a little so you guys can see. We said to the person, like, enter the weight of the package. And then we're allowing the person to enter the weight right here in the form of a double. But a double is like an integer, but extra long, longer. And that's because we're we're going to have an output of a uh, of a decimal. If that's a little confusing, just just think that a double is like an integer but longer, okay? But the person that's going to enter is going to enter a um, an integer, not a double. So integer or weight. If weight, okay. So if weight is less than or equal to zero, or if the weight is greater than 20, we're going to do system dot out dot print line. Your package doesn't meet weight requirement. Try again. Right. 
and then we're going to now we're going to ask the user for distance traveled. That could have been a while statement, but we want to do that first. Uh, it's it's mainly preference. I'm talking about this. If you wanted to do this in a um, a while statement, that's fine, but it's based on pref on preference. So while the wait is um, less than or equal to zero, or oops, I keep doing that, <laughs> or the weight is greater than 20, system dot out dot print enter distance traveled in miles. Now we're prompting the user to actually enter the distance traveled in miles. And now we actually have to take their input, right? So we're going to get that variable of distance in of double, but they're going to enter, they're just going to enter a number, but we're calling it double, like I said, because uh, we're going to change it to decimal place at the end by multiplying it to get our, um, our monies, <laughs> our, uh, the cost, the distance, temp, we're using a temporary variable, technically, um, and the distance. So we're going to assign that temporary variable of distance to the actual variable. And this is why, right? So we're going to do another while statement. And we're going to say while the distance temp is greater than zero, distance temp is, I should probably do this, uh, out more for the newcomers who don't know what that means but I'll go over it so what I'm saying is distance equals distance minus I'm sorry distance temp equals distance temp minus 500 that's why I put minus equals there okay so while the distance temp is over zero uh, minus this from have 500 minus it from there and just keep doing it as long as the distance temp this is, this is temp or temp variable is over is greater than zero and then you just keep count plus plus which is going to keep adding to it so now we're going to need um the formula to find the weight so i think that is it i probably have a little too many thing too many brackets but the compiler let me know at the end of this. Okay, so this is the formula to find weight. If the weight is less than or equal to 2, the cost is count times 1.10 Else, if the weight is um, greater than two, and the weight is less than six, meaning six pounds, okay, or six kilograms, um, then the cost will be. 220. And what we're going to do here is keep doing if else else if statements. So we're just going to copy this and paste it and paste it and that should be all. 
So we're going to do if the weight is greater than 6 but less than 10, or equal to 10. We want it to be 70 for this one. And for this one, we're going to do um, if the weight is greater than 10. So we don't need all that. We're going to do 480. Anything over 10 pounds or 10 kilograms, uh, it's going to be 480. So now print weight and cost results. So what how do you do that? You do system dot out dot print line because we're doing we're printing the the results of our statement. Cost of plus weight plus kg travel plus distance. Remember, these are the var variables that we already um, initialized or we already defined. And through our programming, we have I'm trying to finish this. But that's our program when we we finish it up. Okay, so now that should be it. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. Rent. So it says uh, Java, there's an error on line 15. Okay, I see the I see the error. Okay, cool. Let's see if it actually works. Let's open it up a little more. Okay, enter weight of packages. Okay, so the weight will be, let's say, I don't know, five pounds. The distance traveled, 23. The cost will be two, 220. The cost of five kilograms of a package to travel, and I probably should put like a space between there so it looks better. Is travel 123 miles. See, so yeah, that's why 23 miles right there. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, let's say the package weight is seven and 40, 54 miles. Cost of seven kilograms to travel of a package. 54 miles, and there's another. is 370. Let's try one more time, and then I'm gonna go over the code real quick with you guys. So let's say it's gonna be four, and the distance is uh, 10. Very go, that looks a bit better. Okay, so let me go over the, um, the program with you guys, step by step. So, the first thing we're doing is we're importing, trying to bring this over a little. Oops. Okay. The first thing we're doing is we're importing the scanner, and the scanner is used to actually allow the user to import, I mean, to put in information. The decimal place is to allow us to either output, um, have our answer output. A decimal place or them to input a decimal place. We named our class public class main and that's because this is named main. So again as I stated in other videos you want to save or have I, I yet to save but save your save your file what your class is. So if your class is shipping class then you're going to name your file shipping class dot java so that it can run. We're gonna have the public static void ar main arguments right here, that doesn't change. And with this compiler, that's, that's automatically there. 
we're going to tell the compiler that we're going to have a new scanner, which is, you know what a scanner is by now, someone inputting information, you know what the decimal place is, and to actually have this format, it will be hashtag dot zero zero. And as you can see, that's what happens right here. Um, then we call the the variables, which is the weight. You're going to input the weight, the distance, and the temporary distance. And you'll see why we have that later on. And the cost and the count. We're going to have a do while statement, but I guess if you, it's if you want to do a while a while else statement or an if statement, you can. But I decided to use a do while. So what I'm saying here is that enter the package weight. So it's going to allow the person to enter the package weight no matter what. And that's why I chose a do while statement. So the person enters the package weight. If the package weight is either less than zero or the package weight is greater than zero, then it's going to shoot out this. Let's try that. Let me see. Okay, so the package weight, let's say it was 65, and then it prints your package does not meet the weight requirements. Try again. And then it allows me to try, try again. And then it goes on like that until I actually print in something that's that meets the requirements. So while the package is in between here, print enter the distance traveled in miles. So the distance traveled miles, so this is how you get the scanner or the person inputting information. The distance will be of double, but they're actually just enter, entering an integer, but we're making it a double because we're gonna have the output of a decimal place. So it, it makes it more correct if, if that's correct. It corrects, it makes it out better. <laughs> All right, the distance temporary will be for the distance we're actually assigning that it's not it's not like a distance temp is equal to distance we're making the distance temp actually distance while the distance temp is greater than zero distance tip minus 500 and that has to do with the weight so we um we are calculating the weight based off of 500 and then we're doing count plus plus we're going to keep adding to the weight as long as well to mean distance if and while and only if uh, this happens distance temp which is distance is is greater than zero otherwise um, we're going to come to this the program is going to come to this or the compiler and it's going to find the weight by doing you know a formula cost equals count plus 1.10. So the count is based off of this right here. So whatever the count is times 1.10. But if that if that's not the case, and then go to here. So only if the weight is less than or equal to 2, then do 110. However, if it's not less than or equal to 2, go to here. And if it's not um, if the weight is greater than two, if the weight is not greater than two and the weight is not less than or equal to six, go to here. And so on and so forth. Finally, at the end of all of that, we're going to have a print line of the cost of the weight, okay, which we got right here, the cost of the distance, which we got right here. And then last but not definitely not least, um, the format, the DF format of cost. What you got right here? And that cost, the DF format of cost was right here. Decimal format of DF. And that's how we got our answer. Of course, if you have any questions, comment down below. This will be on my GitHub so you guys can see. And um, yeah, like and subscribe to the video. I'll be uploading more.